Hi KF folks, today I want to give you examples of questions from technical interview, usually it's round 3 or 4. So it was senior query position, mostly test automation, remote in US, 106k salary, Microsoft Teams video call, 1 hour, there were 38 questions, so it was intense. Let's see what your most recent assignment was like and what you did. So basically tell me more about your current positions. What do you do on your current placement? What interests you in this position? Why do you want to work with us? When you're thinking about creating a, an automated test, what are some of the criteria that you consider? So not everything is possible to automate automatically repetitive tests and so on. Can you tell us about any kind of specific challenges that you faced while creating automated tests? I told about unstable test environments and creating workarounds or retracing tests. Can you talk about the time when you created a technical solution to solve a specific challenge in testing? For this one, I gave examples of example of test automation for API JSON schema validation on the fly. Could you please describe what kind of solution it was? How did you implement it? What kind of tools and technologies you used? And what was your approach? This is the follow-up questions about follow-up question about this one previous. So I used the uh, JS and Playwright in my particular case. What do you do to continue your own learning to become a better test engineer? So I answer that I'm following some uh, groups and newsletters to see what is kind of in trend. From time to time I'm learning new tools like Playwright, Cypress. Have you ever written any unit tests for application for this one? I told yes, but honestly speaking, it's developer's responsibility. Can you talk about the difference between unit test system testing and integration testing? Theoretical question. Do you have any experience with mocking frameworks? And the follow up question was can you briefly describe what a mock is for? So I told that. I had some experience, but in most cases I would rather prefer to write my own mock uh, using Node.js and Express rather than using some tools because usually they have some limitations. Have you ever heard of anything called a data responder? It's something related to BI, some specific for their company. Are you familiar with object oriented programming? And could you talk about different principles in the follow-up questions about principles behind object-oriented programming? So basically it's uh, encapsulation, abstractions, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. Could you provide any examples of the stuff that you built using those principles and why you used them and how they interacted? Uh, so they were interested in more, they didn't ask to write the code, but to explain in which situations I applied those principles and how exactly. So here I gave example about uh, for inheritance about creating a based test class for page object based page class to put some reusable code in them and so on. Could you talk about solid principles? So the single responsibility, open closed principle, list of substitution, interface aggregation, dependency inversion. And tell the difference between dependency inversion and dependency injection. Do you have any experience of developing REST API? <coughs> Not sure why they were interested in developing experience, but anyway, I had such, give them some examples. 
I'm familiar with design patterns. Here I mentioned uh, first of all page object patterns for UI. Also singleton, facade, proxy, class factory. I'm familiar with C sharp, have used it before. Looks like in the page proposition they were interested in C sharp specifically. Are you familiar with the NuGet packages and how do those work? So basically, it's an analog of Maven, analogy of Maven in Java, dependency, management tool. What is serialization, deserialization in terms of converting objects uh, from programming language, object to byte stream, and so on? How would you handle exception here? I answers about handled and handled exceptions that you can throw your own when needed, like runtime exception to fail test some specific situations. <coughs> Do you have any experience with TypeScript? Have you worked with Selenium web driver? Describe what locators you have used to find elements on the web page. Do you write absolute expass or relative ones? Have you used page object pattern with Selenium Web Driver? Also explain what, what it is, what all the what's the idea behind it. Have you used Cypress? How do you switch between iframes and browser tabs in Selenium? What kind of exceptions have you faced while writing automation in Selenium? Like uh, element not found and so on, exception and so on. Do you have any experience with Postman for API testing and test automation? Here I told them that I would prefer to write API test from the code directly because Postman is first of all manual testing, API testing tool. It's not so agile and flexible. Do you have any experience with BDD? We have our first driven approach, spec flow cucumber. What's the difference between spec flow and cucumber? So basically, cucumber uses regular expressions to pass keywords, to parse keywords. Spec flow using some, something that is called attribute based parsing. Are you familiar with the source control? Yes, git. How do you solve merge conflicts? Just look at them, take them one by one. Have you ever had a situation where you had an idea that you had to bring to the team and the team wasn't necessarily respective, receptive? In the beginning, uh, how did you overcome that situation? So basically how you persuade people that your idea is uh, the good one. Have you ever come across situation that someone got defensive about their way of the idea maybe they own something and they felt like no matter how you how many facts and figures you threw at them they saw their way is the best one how do you how do you deal with it kind of person this one related to previous one as well so basically how you persuade people how can you work with difficult people. So basically that's it. I hope it was helpful. See you in the next one.